we are making a gray square hat. So I have already made four of my five required granny squares. And so we're gonna come on here and finish the last one and then put the hat together and all of that. We're gonna see how far. All right, so if you are in the replay or in the live now, please make sure you guys thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Okay, so we're doing this magic circle, you guys. Magic circle takes me a little bit of time, but I'm getting better. The more you do a project, and most projects start with a magic circle. One, two, three. As you guys are coming in, say hello. Now in this video, I need 20 likes, you guys, between the replay and the live. 20 likes. You think we can get it? You guys see? There we go. Okay. All right, and we'll do another. Let's see, one, two. We'll do this. This takes a lot of my concentration, you guys. Okay. So you're gonna get you're gonna do twelve in the circle. Twelve um triple double crochets 12 sets or or four sets rather one two three so i need one more one two three actually guys guess what i did i started with the wrong color isn't that terrible so you get to see me do it again okay The first one, your three chains, is going to count towards one double crochet. And that just goes for the first one. Okay, you're going to do two chains in between each set. Or triple. Okay. We do one, two. Oops, we just want to do two in between each triple cro uh, double crochet. Okay. Two. 
and three so they call it a magic circle because you can just pull it pull that little circle here to tighten it up and we're gonna we're gonna do this let's see one two and then we're gonna do this I'm sorry. And then we're going to slip stitch. Okay. Thank you. Welcome in. All right, so we're going to switch colors. Guys, thumb up the video. Hello. Thumbs up the video. Do that by going to the three dots. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. This will be our second row. Okay, we'll pull down. All right. And we are going to... Tighten this up. Okay. So this string right here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tuck it in. You're going to take your needle, pull the thread through, and just sew that in. And the reason for doing that is so it doesn't come loose. You just want to make sure it's just in there nice and sleek. Don't just cut it off make sure you tuck it and then cut it off all right so we're going to do one two three <laughs> okay. Oh man, I did all that. All right, so let's go here. Made a little mistake, so I'm just gonna go here and do it. There you go. And pull that back down. There we go. I'm going to do one, two, three, and then you're going to do two sets of double crochet or triple double crochets, okay? Remember the first one counts as your first double crochet, so yes, three, okay? Then I'm going to do one. 
welcome in you guys make sure you thumbs up the video no it didn't Child. Uh -uh. we are not starting this over that's what we not gonna do we're gonna do this again hold up y'all hold up look at this we're gonna start this over it's not there then we're not starting it over all right let me pull this through Shoot. pull that through It's only doing this because I'm trying to show y'all. I don't go through this when I'm not showing y'all. Alright, we're going to do this one more time. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, let's see. How's everyone doing? Say hello. You guys who speak. Okay. So, let's do this. One. Two. Thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. Y'all keep going. We're trying to get 20. Between now and the replay, it doesn't matter. But I would love to get it before the replay. So keep thumbs up in the video. If you have any questions about crocheting, you can type it up. So I was on TT, right, back? Yeah. And I made a mistake and accepted one of them people on my live. Oh. And per I was like, hello. The person was like, I was like, do you speak English? He was like, no. And then he started just speaking English. All so I said, you know English because you're talking. You understand what I'm saying. And then he just went into Pakistani language. I think he just wanted to like uh, grow his. No, well, he said help him out. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to help you. He just he just wanted to help himself. Mm-hmm. Come mm. on, say he don't know English. But he was speaking English and understanding what I'm saying. And then he yeah. said, well, I don't know a lot. And said, I don't know a lot. Right, exactly. But he just said he didn't know how to speak English. That's my point. But he did. Yeah. yeah. He, he really didn't want to talk to you. He oh. just wanted to talk to his own audience. Oh. <laughs> you know, he, he wanted because, you know, you were live and the page was pretty Oops. Um, active, pretty big. He just wanted to um, <laughs> monetize, you know, help himself grow. Somebody said he spoke English when it was beneficial for him. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I didn't even know how to kick them off, so I had to just end the line. Cause oh, I didn't know how to no. Do it. <laughs> well. I didn't even know how to do it, y'all. All right, y'all see how I had messed up, but we had corrected it. 
That's how they say you know what you're doing when you can correct a mistake. That's what makes you a professional. Is knowing how to correct a mistake. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the color to what? Green. This is very therapeutic, y'all. Y'all need to start crocheting. That's why I'm crocheting on this non-crocheting channel. We know. We trying to fit it in, y'all. So y'all support it over here. Okay? Because my other channel, to be honest, it's not monetized. So why am I going to go over there when I can come over here? Is that too much? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, y'all need to get into it, y'all. It's a, it's very, it's, it's a lot of fun, to say the least. Okay. We're gonna tie that off. And boom. So we're gonna go here. Let me see. Did you put the stuff on back? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Almost done this row, y'all. Goes by fast. Exactly. <laughs> Hello to everyone. You guys, make sure you um, like the video, thumbs up the video, say hello. I am making brandy squares. This is actually the last one I need to make for my hat. Okay. Don't be shy. I do speak to people. Okay. One, two. 
if you crochet, crochet with me. We're going to do another color change and then we'll be done this granny square. I myself think it's so much easier making a hat with granny squares. Would you agree or disagree? Okay, so we need one, two, three, one more row. We'll go back to our pink. Okay. Now some people, you know, I could just like end it and then just put the color in the major uh, stitch. I like doing it this way. You just gotta make sure you know where you cut it because if you cut it too close then the whole thing will come apart and that's what happened earlier okay besides i'm doing this for therapy brain therapy uh stress therapy so i don't mind taking the extra steps and so i'm medicinally crocheting So when you guys get your hats from me, just know that my hands are nice and relaxed and blessed and your item will be blessed as well. Because these hands are just focused on bettering my mind spiritually, physically. Okay. So... We have this extra string down here. We don't know what this is, but we're going to tuck it. That's what we're going to do. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video. Help me get to 20 likes, okay? So that's what's the tea today. Crocheting helps you to balance your mind which I have to I have to do I have to balance my mind to control a lot of things that I deal with I used to could just deal with all my stuff with some supplements and food but um because I have increased my workload I have to uh, do more relaxing activities to help my um, stress hormones out okay so we're gonna do another row oh I've already put the color in and so we ready to roll all right that's why I like my light hook it is easier on my eyes it helps me to focus on what I'm doing so I don't have like motion blindness you know like if you're doing the same thing over and over again it will put you to sleep so this helps me not to fall asleep okay so we're about to do three here three double crochet okay so i'm wondering hold on y'all I'm going to do two here. This is one. Remember the first uh, your chain up is actually your first double crochet. Alright. Then you're going to chain over two. One, two. Right. And then we're going to go to the corner. The corner it's going to always have two sets of triple double crochet. Pink. I'm not sure the exact color. 
I'm not sure the exact color. Obviously, it's not like pink, pink. But I got this um, from Joann's, and it's Big Twist. And the green is this green. I just go by my eye. Yeah. And this yarn is quite soft. That's why I'm using it. I, I'm using it for my hat. I wouldn't use this for a customer's hat. It's too soft. But I think it's awesome um, for a beginner like myself um, to practice on because it's harder. But that's just me. I like starting off with stuff that is harder, not easy. But you, you know, wh whoever's listening to this, you, you start off how you want to start off. So if you want a firmer yarn, that's cool. Um... Just know them firmer yarns are going to be a little more expensive. Like Red Heart, that's a good one. I caught Red Heart when it was on sale, like, a few months ago at Walmart. So that's what I do. I go to the place where things are on sale. Like, why spend more when you can spend less? Remember that slogan from Pay Less? Why pay more when you can pay less? <laughs> Well, I feel like that with this crochet because you don't want to crochet all the time. And um, you want plenty of yarn. Mm -hmm. You guys hit that like button. Because I know the same four people not in here. It has to be some new people in here, I know. So hit that like button, you guys. Hit that like button. Help a sister out. I need likes. I need engagement. Yes, I do. I need engagement in my videos, my live videos, and my um, regular videos pre-recorded. I need all of that, you guys. So we're almost done. Now, there is a um, site. And it's... Um, can I say the site on here? The crochet or no? Can you type it in a day? Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well guys check out my other YouTube channel todaycrochet.com I'm sorry todaycrochet at gmail I'm sorry todaycrochet at YouTube <laughs> ah, I don't know what to say alright so we're gonna do I'm almost done y'all hi Miss Sherry how are you done so just to let you guys know I actually made these five um, crochet I mean granny squares today yep today in between a few platforms that I go live on so it's very much easy to, more easier for me to do a hat out of uh, granny squares Everybody may not agree. And I may finish this hat. I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to at least uh, put it together on this video. I'm going to put it together. Excuse me, y'all. I had an itch. <laughs> All right. 
so almost done I know this must be cool to see it on your end actually watching this get constructed right in front of your eyes the person who's making it really doesn't get to enjoy that part because we're just trying to get through it but on your side you're just watching it come together isn't that awesome You guys say hello thumbs up the video Okay, we're done. That part. Okay, so you take your needle and you're going to tuck this in. Don't just cut it. Make sure you watch my video that's coming out this evening about why I'm not going to be selling those big, huge ruffle hats. That'll be out tonight. Make sure you watch it. Okay, so this is five. All right, so the next thing we do is I'm going to take, since the edges are pink, I'm going to take pink yarn to sew these together. Now, you don't want to make your yarn too long, so just take out a little bit, just enough, because we're not trying to get anything tangled, and we're going to pull this through. We're going to tie two pieces together first time okay so I have to figure out which one is going to be the size and which one is going to be the top because mine sometimes they're not all necessarily the same size sometimes most of the time they are but sometimes they're not so the one that is not the same I just put this like this one right here is going to go on the top of the hat okay all right All right, so we're going to make sure we are, let me see, we're going to sew where the outside, the inside is outside at first, so when I flip it open, you'll have the outside out. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do this. Okay. And you can have a knot at the end. I really don't like the knot at the end. So I just do this. Hold it. There you go. Okay. 
and then these little pieces I'm gonna attempt to just sew it in that way you don't have that knot Let me talk about a movie that I just watched that was pretty good. My husband and I, we both watched it a few days ago. It's called Night Swim. And so if you haven't seen it yet, see you later. Okay? Don't watch this. Because it's going to be complete, like, spoiler alerts. <laughs> So it's on Peacock, y'all, and they say that this is actually a book. Actually, I got the book in my Audible to listen to because it was the movie was just so interesting. So if you haven't seen it, you guys, just go ahead and tune off if you plan on seeing it. If you like scary movies, uh, this is a perfect, uh, I, I would call it like a thriller, okay? So it's about this couple, right? Uh, this married couple and they move into a house the father he's like a baseball player and i don't know what the mother is she may just be a, a stay-at-home wife and so well the movie begins first and foremost um of this family who had a little girl and she went swimming in the pool and uh it was some type of force in the pool and it kind of lured her in there with a boat. So it kind of give gave like um, it. If you guys, you know, seen like Stephen King's it, it kind of gave that type of vibe. And so the little girl, she went in there to get her boat, and um, some something just you know took her, if you will. And so it flashed forward maybe 20 years or whatever and so basically the family that I was talking about at first they bought the home okay the real estate agent didn't tell them anything about it um, and, 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 and to be honest when you buy homes guys see there you go you see that you don't see any stitch and the stitches at the at the back honey they don't um, tell you anything about the house y'all so if you can um, research your house before you you get it, you know, even the land, like if you get your house built, check to see if the land is okay. But like, how about this? Just pray over your home, okay? <laughs> pray over your home in Jesus' name. Ask him to remove any bad spirits and all that, you know. Um, case in point, in real life, we used to, we saw this family, she, um, the, the lady had owned a salon or whatever and everybody the, the, her house had caught on fire and of course the lady did not um, survive the husband and the son did and so we went by the house the house was all burnt I mean it was completely burnt charred um, you know not livable but within three months or four months or maybe a little more they got that house back together and a family moved in and so I, I don't know if the, uh, the people knew that someone had passed away in that house. Um, so I don't know. So just do your own research, you guys. So this family, he's a baseball player, the father. And I think he had um, like MS. So he was, you know, um, not well. And so he bought the house because of the pool. You know, the pool was, he's like, yeah, the pool could actually help him out and exercise and stuff like that, get his strength back. 
Because, you know, in mass, it just basically eats your muscles up and stuff like that. And so, they didn't know anything about, of course, the situation that happened. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. All right, making sure I'm doing the... Okay, so this is the outside. And this is the... Okay. So, yeah. He bought the house and all that <laughs> because he wanted to um, get therapies in the pool. And so, I don't know who was the first one to swim in the pool. Um, babe, who swam in the pool first? Do you remember? The father. Okay, I'm sorry. I skipped the part. Okay, so when they got there, they got the home. The first thing they, the, the pool wasn't even, you know, ready to be swimming because it was abandoned for so long. So they went in there and they actually was cleaning it up and things like that. And then the pool, um, he went to do something like, uh, he went down in the drain. You missed, you missed another part. You missed another part. Oh, fill, fill him in. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So he saw a baseball in the water. When he, when he first went, the real estate agent was like um, showing him the home. Mm -hmm. And the real estate agent said, well, I didn't have this home on the list because I didn't know if this is something you were interested in. Right. And so they looked around the home and the husband went out to the backyard and said, oh. Is it in ground pool? Okay. And the pool was covered up. It had like, um, you know, a pool cover over it. And it was like murky water, mm -hmm. you know, leaves all over it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he went and saw a ball that was in the, in the, um, on top of the pool cover. And he reached, he had a cane in his hand. So he, he was, um, not stable, but he felt as though he could actually reach to get the, the, to get this ball, and he fell into the water, and he got out the water. Wait, wait. I Did he they, fall into the water? Right, but I thought they filled it up first and all that. Remember, oh he no, had to, they had to clean it out. They was it water it in it? It was water in it already. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he fell in the pool. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he did fall in the pool. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, there was water in it. And so he, he actually got the ball out mm -hmm. and was able to, um, I guess, pull himself out. Yeah, he was strong enough to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they talked and said, hey, the pool could be good for me. Let's get this house. They were renters at first. <laughs> right, right, right. And but they decided to buy this house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the real estate agent was actually showing them houses to rent, not not to oh, buy. Oh, okay. Okay. But they decided to buy this house. Mm-hmm. Because it had a pool and it was for sale, not for rent. Okay. Somebody said, I haven't watched the movie yet, but I don't mind knowing the outcome sometimes. I want to know so I won't get too freaked out. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Keep going. Okay, so they talked about it, and they thought it would be a good idea for them to actually buy this home. They okay. said it would be good for the children as well. Yeah, so... All right, so they get the house. So, But you missed the part when he put his hand... Oh, no, that comes after. Okay, so they, they drain the pool first. Yes. Okay, so they drain the pool. To make it so that they can actually start swimming in it. Yes. Yeah. And so, how many movies have you seen when somebody blindly puts their hand? It was like a Final Destination thing. He put his hand down the drain. He was like, ah, oh, I, 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 I feel something here. Boom, boom, boom. And then something got him. You know what I mean? He didn't know what it was. And, and so sliced it sliced his hand. his hand like horribly, and so you could see the 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 fluid go in the pool, go in the drain. So it was like basically the pool became like took his DNA and the him and the pool and became it, and one. It coughed it up. 
Huh? Didn't it cough up murkiness? Yeah, it coughed up murkiness and, and it started to what grow. The water started getting high. He had to mm -hmm. and we and he, he had to hurry up and get out the pool and all that and stuff like that. And, th and these people still what? <laughs> they still stayed. They stayed. And they said, you know what? Let's hire a professional. Yeah. And so they had a professional come in and and clean up the pool. Yeah. And um so Let's fast forward. So, the husband was first in the pool. Then the wife. The wife got in the pool. And she's a good swimmer. And so she was swimming and swimming and swimming. Of course, she was swimming at night. And all of a sudden, when she was swimming, the lights started flashing. Like, she was like, what the heck? The lights started flashing and everything. And she, she ignored it. And then eventually... Um, they should they showed the, the water and they showed something like trying to get or whatever but she got out in time but she was like oh it's something up but she ain't say nothing she kept it moving but honey then the children started swimming in the darn pool and what happened there okay well when the children and the they had a one? son and a daughter. They had a son and a daughter. The son uh -huh. was, was younger. Okay. Now, oh, we forgot. It was a cat in there. He had a cat. Oh, I remember now. And oh. then um, they came back. They, they didn't show anything about the cat, but they came back outside, and all they saw was the collar. <laughs> For the cat. I know. They what never, was the cat's name? Do you remember the cat's name? I don't remember the cat's name. Oh. It was a, 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 a famous name, too. It was like something you would remember. Like Coca-Cola? No. <laughs> Coca-Cola. But the cat was just basically... It, it disappeared, y'all. And But we saw basically the pool ate the dirt. I think ate, the pool took the cat. Took the cat. Yeah. That's basically what happened. But you had to kind of put that together. But they didn't show anything like that they didn't show the cat getting anything okay so the wife took she went on and she got you know she got in the pool and all at that night. at uh -huh. night everyone was sleeping and she decided to go swimming at night mm -hmm. i mean it's your pool right you could go swimming at night yeah I, I... all that spooky stuff happened and then she went on about her business then the, the yeah, son she thought she saw her husband oh oh what? She thought she saw her husband at the pool. Right? She came up out the pool. Yeah. And, like, she stuck her head up out of the water. Yeah. And See, she thought she saw her husband. Okay, so this movie, to be honest, this movie takes stuff from Amityville. Amity, 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 honey, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Aville Horror. Amenity, I think. Amenity Bill. Yes. It takes some things from what lies beneath. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it, that it one. It takes some things from it. So that's three different movies. Just to give y'all a little bit of a idea of what the movie is. It's pretty scary. It's, yeah. Now, the book is different than the movie. But I guess it was like, heck, we just going, you know, throw in some movies that some classics... But these young folks probably didn't even know that. So it's a brand new movie to some people. You feel me? But anyway, the daughter, she had this little boyfriend or whatever. She tried, tried to have this little boyfriend. And she had this little pool party. Oh, yeah. He was part of the swim team. Right. Because she was a swimmer. Oh, okay. Like the mother's a swimmer too, right? Yeah. Because the mother's a swimmer. And so she had this party. And she invited her little friends over and stuff like that. Did something happen to her? Oh, they were playing Marco Polo. Oh, yeah. They were playing Marco Polo by themselves. I'm sorry. She had her friend over there by themselves at first. And so they was like, Marco Polo, Marco Polo. But eventually, the the thing that was saying Polo wasn't her friend. It was like a little spooky thing. Yeah, he got out the water. He was playing with her. He got out the water and left her in there. Uh-huh. And the thing said Marco Polo. And you know how the side of the pool, like if you went to like a Six Flags or something, 
because I, I always look at the side of the pool and it's this big drain over there. Well, that's what that pool had. It had a big, huge drain. But she went over in the drain. Did it? Did, did the thing started taking her like a form of her or something, some hair or something we saw in there? I think it started dancing with her or something. <laughs> you said I don't know. Dancing. It was playing Marco Polo with her. Yeah. But it ended up, look, it ended up, the, the, she got a little spooked, but nothing happened. You know what I mean? Nothing really happened, but she she kept it to herself. You know, everybody was basically keeping that this pool was haunted to themselves because the father loved it. In fact, let's go back to when he got cut or he got sliced. The pool actually was making him stronger. At first, it was making him stronger. That's when we as the viewers started to understand that this pool, I thought well, maybe the pool is like a fountain of youth at first. Mm -hmm. The pool guys told him that, it, you know, the pool was special. The water yeah. that was coming up, it was an underground water supply. Yeah. Like a well of some sort. But that well was, was evil. It wasn't good. And so he was like, basically, this is my pool. He's, he was starting to swim and, honey, he started lifting weights and, he thought he was a man again. You know, he had become like the bionic man. That that pool was just magical for him. And so they saw that he was improving. So they was like, they weren't going to do anything or say anything about the pool because it was helping their father. But eventually, you know, they had to say something because things started, you know, kind of getting crazy, you know. And, um... You know, the father was like, look, I ain't going nowhere. They were in the car. He was like, I ain't going nowhere. This is my... He basically became evil. He was about to take out his daughter. When I say take her out, he was about to... That that evil thing. In fact, didn't we see something go in him or something? Yes. The, um, yeah. Eventually, like some murkiness went inside of him. Yeah, because he, um, he almost was out of here. I think yeah, the, he had this... Um, a conniption on the water. Yeah, he water. had a conniption. Oh, oh, oh. So, mm -hmm. what happened was... That's when it was really over. They had this party, right? She had... um Her daughter had had, like, a pool party with her friends. And so, the father... It was two dads. It was... The father... They was playing, like, um... You know, you put somebody up on your shoulders. And they, they the people on their shoulders supposed to fight or whatever. And whoever's still up there wins. Well, honey, her father darn near drowned the young man that was on him he was he was basically being possessed and he was under the water the whole time and the little boy almost drowned too and um basically the father died i think he kind of died but the pool had gotten into him uh the spirit or whatever had gotten to him and brought him back to life if you will so the scenes after that, the father was just different. You know, you could kind of see that he had changed. He became dark. And so he had um, went after his daughter, was going to try to heart, you know, harm her and all that. I mean, the movie is just... Yeah, she was going to call um, and help, get, get help for her brother who was drowning underwater. It wasn't her... Was it her brother? That's her brother. Oh, when he was... Because he went in the pool, too. He went in the pool also. Yeah, that pool was just evil. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. taking everybody. Mm-hmm. And there's some other parts I'm going to leave out because... Are you guys going to watch it? Yeah. You know, I think we, we gave you a little bit of a synopsis of it. Are you scared? <laughs> so you don't have to be as scared because the whole time we were scared. Andrew was covering his face. I, I did. He don't like scary stuff. No. I love scary movies. I, it's something in me that loves suspense. I think it's because of my childhood. I, mean, I really do. Um, but that ain't going nowhere. I'm going to like horror movies. I like watching Snapped. Is that, I mean, I don't watch Snapped no more because I don't even know if it's still got more. Honey, I be watching all these stories, un unfortunate stories and stuff. And they claim that if you like that kind of stuff, that something wrong with you. But I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I like that stuff, though. Yes, you do. Uh-huh. Do you guys like that stuff? <laughs> Honey, I've been watching these stories the last few days of these poor little events. 
And I thought the darn channel was talking about past stuff. Honey, they talking about stuff that's happening this year. Honey, first and foremost, what is going on with these men out here that want to live a certain lifestyle but get mad when their wife and girlfriend and baby mother find out? Okay, you mad. All right. But what you got to take her out, for, you know, delete her for? What is that about? You know what I mean? I love horror movies, drama, crime, etc. I'm going to watch it maybe tomorrow. Okay, cool. We left a lot out. Because <laughs> I didn't even know that I was going to talk about that. But I said I don't want to just sit here and and not talk. You know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. um... Yeah, so I was like, what's... Now, this, this hat looks like it's going to be kind of small. Hold on. You know what I mean? Alright, so we let me see. Ah. Yeah, y'all like, what is that? Is that a headband? No. It's <laughs> gonna be a hat. Mm -hmm. I don't know, y'all. I think when I make this for the public, I'm probably gonna have to make them for uh hold on y'all, let's see. Make them a little bigger but no you know one thing about um yarn it stretches but yeah i've been uh watching these darn things and it's like a theme look if you want to live a a, a a certain lifestyle which i don't agree with um go and live your life don't and uh, don't put other people in it. it it is what it is but you know what that lifestyle promotes greed you want the best of both worlds now i'm noticing that a lot of these young ladies are ignoring the red flags a person who is living that lifestyle not gonna come out and say it honey but you're gonna have to have the eyes to know that they live in a double lifestyle. Now, there are certain things. I'm, I'm, I'm helping my young ladies here. There are certain things that will tell you that a certain somebody is living some type of lifestyle. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go by a little bit. I'm, I'm just going to tell you what I think. First and foremost, if they are in the mirror longer than you, that's a problem. Secondly, if they wear colored, like, glasses that got purple or something frames and all that, something wrong, sis. Something wrong. If they got locks and they want color at the tip, something up. If they got a goatee and it's perfect all the time. Now, we all, you know, I grew up with Teddy Riley and all them. You know, Teddy Riley, he he made that goatee and that uh, whatever it's called, of uh, um, the style. But, honey, unless you saying yup, yup and all that and making some hits, honey, you don't need that goatee to look perfect. If he wants that goatee to look perfect all the time, something might be up. Okay. I'm just saying, keeping it 100, because I know the slim pickings out here, but don't let the devil convince you that you can change a man who wants the same, okay? Don't, you cannot change that, okay? Let me go over some other things. If he has any piercings in his face, something's up. If he likes anything in the back action door, if you will, something's up. Okay. Think about some other things. If he talks like, mm-hmm, yeah, uh-huh, yup, yeah, mm-hmm, and he posts his, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, and he do all his facial expressions, and he taking a whole bunch of selfies, something's up. Honey, 
the thing about it is, is this. God has blessed us to be able to hear. Somebody ain't got to tell you Jack. They have different qualities. Of, uh, they have different attributes and actions and things like that that they do. They can't turn it off. If you go and you try to go in his back pocket and he don't tighten up real quick, Something's up. Somebody told me that back in 2006. You know how long ago that was? Back? Oh, that was a long time ago. Somebody told me that. Because, see, that I guess back then things was happening. You know, my husband and I, we've been sheltered. You know what I mean? I've had what I call... I've, call, I've had that um, ra radar... But I actually call it something else. But on here, I will call it a radar. I've had a radar all of my life. I have family members that don't even talk to me because I already knew the deal. And I told. And they stopped talking to me because I'm a realist. I like to tell the truth and shame the devil. Because once once you tell the truth, once you once you pull back those sheets off that sinful lifestyle it has to flee it has to go i read not read i watch too many um too many of these darn shows of these young men living a double lifestyle and then when their spouse or their partner their girlfriend baby mama even wife finds out then they want to kind of take them out this last story i just watched okay honey not only did he take his baby mother out or his wife he took himself out i'm like goodness gracious so it's like it's a shame they know it's wrong if you know it's wrong why are you living that way right born to do that you're not born to do that that's why when and, and it's funny because i, I talked to I, we talked about that movie that we just watched the night swim and we saw that the father got possessed that's how i look at all those type of spirits so that's a spiritual demon why because once it gets in you you feel like you you feel bad why else would somebody first of all hide it but you ain't hiding anything. And um, if somebody is with somebody who looks like that, they know. But they think that they can change them. I think it's more than just being desperate. I just feel like they just feel like, hey, I can change them. And baby, you can't. The only thing that can change them is God himself. But you got to allow God to do it too. Because he gives us free will. You get what I'm saying? God has allowed me now to watch these things not for entertainment, but to watch them and just go and just say, you know what, how can I bring this information back to my platform and tell these young ladies, because that's who's going through it. A lot of these young ladies, you so got darn wanting a man so bad that you go ahead and you take a man who wants an, a, a, himself, if you will. And you, sh and you shouldn't be that darn desperate for that. You're not going to convince me that that's all that's out here. I just think that you're not patient and you're not going by what God wants for you. So you say you, you basically take the first thing trucking. I can show you some of these darn pictures of these men on these darn shows. Honey, they, they, look, they, they look obviously, they look like they like themselves. And these women knew. But you think you can change somebody. You can't change them. They they full of that 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 demon, that, that darn man in that pool. And, and I'ma tell you. And once he had that demon in his pool in that pool, honey, he ain't make it. Did he? Oh no. He it. ain't make it. That's not a godly movie, honey. That was to scare you and say, That's it. Bye, everybody. Yeah, father father gone. 
because he got that darn spirit in him, and that was the spirit of whatever. But that's how I feel about all these negative entities out here, all this lifestyle. You got to be possessed to even live that way because no life comes from that. It's, it's deliberate in, in the word. You're not supposed to live that way. It's right there, clear as day. You know, we got a recording of T.D. Jakes. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm letting y'all know. So if you listen to him and claim that you a Christian, you ain't, or maybe you blind. Honey, he said, look. Yeah, you no life can come from this life of that lifestyle. That's what he said. He said no life can come from it. He said this though. I ain't saying you get you I ain't saying you can't have no fun. Did he not say yeah, that? Yeah, he literally said that. I was like, wow. He said I, he said y'all go on my Instagram and, and find that on a reel. We got that on tape. Okay. And he said that. He said, oh, no, I ain't saying y'all. And that's coming from a pa a so-called bishop, pastor. And it took me everything. Like, back in the day, I had gone to church, a church. My husband wasn't with me for that day. I don't know why. I don't know why. No, 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 he was. Okay. okay. I think. Because I said, no, I stopped going to a church because I saw some things I didn't like. Right? Yeah. Were you there with me? I, I'm most likely I was. Okay, this was that was so long ago. That's the last time I've been in the church. But non procreative activities are not of God. Thank you. No, it's not. Shoot, and that's not just reproduction. That's anything. We're not supposed to be idle. Okay, so yeah, I went to this church, and it was a, it was this family, and it was of course man, woman, baby. But honey, that girl, man, he was like Lil Richie. I said, what the heck is going on here? I said, I'm gone. And that was it. Like, I was just, and I was a baby Christian, you know. I didn't, I didn't know much, but I knew that wasn't right. And I just, now I just, I read the Bible for myself. Um, I just couldn't. And, and to this day, I feel I feel some type of way. I really do feel some type of way and, and, and feeling like maybe I shouldn't have said that because church is not for people who are perfect. Oh, no. You got to be careful of who you fellowship with. Yeah. Well, that's true, too. Um, somebody said, Miss Jerry said, me too, Jenna. I left the church also. Yeah, I left it because now I, 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 I listen to some pastors and I've had to stop listening to some pastors that I was listening to all through the pandemic because I found out some things and you know it's one of them things so anyway I just read the Bible for myself y'all um and ask God for clarity you know and I read the 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 Bible like it's called the the easy version I don't do the King James because I don't understand it but fully um the language and so i'm like in an emergency state i want to get the word i want to get fed i don't want to have to constantly like translate what's going on El elders just said that in service a couple hours ago sis we're not supposed to be idle that's satan playground yes yes and see that's why i had asked god <laughs> I said, please, I don't want dementia. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I took care of my, my my husband and I. We took care of my granddaddy for a long time. And he had dementia. But um, <laughs> I said, Lord, I don't want dementia. Anyway, he said, well, you pick back up your crocheting. And I've been doing it ever since. But it's not just about dementia no more. It's just about me not being idle in my life. You get what I'm saying? I started to... KJV 1611. Is that an app? No. King James Version 1611. What do you mean? KJV is King James Version. I know, but what's 1611? I don't know. I, don't, I have to look it up. <laughs> um, um, 16, but we don't know what, what um, book. Uh, okay, babe. 
Um, but yeah. So I started making these hats, and of course, I, I, I actually read Proverbs 31, and it says a Proverbs 31 woman makes things with her hands. And I and I learned that after I identified with a Proverbs 31. So I, now I know, oh yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. I am supposed to be crocheting and getting other people to crochet. Mm-hmm. Because it's a beautiful skill. Okay. Now this look like I'm about to say, Ladies first, ladies first. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I see. <laughs> this looked like a little hat that Queen Latifah used to, you know, wear back in the day. But, um, yeah, so it's just, you know, we got to be strong. I know Cat Williams said this on Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp Show, King James charles stewart six was very intelligent man and blessed by god king james yeah king james uh -huh. he said honey god's people ain't that few didn't he say that he did i've been thinking about that statement <laughs> you don't like it not quite why not i mean you know i liked it but okay he's a wordsmith Mm -hmm. He said God's people ain't that few, which means it's few, but not that few. Well, that's in the Bible. But that is true. It's long as, I'm going to say, why yeah. is the road of destruction? Oh, yeah. That's true. It's not a lot because you can see how the world is going. Mm hmm Yeah, but it's not that few. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. but God's people was there, though. Yes. And we have to stick together. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. Because we need that encouragement. Now, your encouragement comes from God. Don't get me wrong. He, it, you know, and I always say, Lord, you know, I want to say things that's going to help people. That's why I watch what I say. And the saying Proverbs, person who talks too much is a fool. <laughs> and I read that. I was like, oh, okay. You got to watch what you say, people. People thinking you can talk a hole in people's head just by being well at words and all that. But what's the sense in over talking somebody or using big language just for yourself to look good? It's not to get to the people, right? Yeah. You should be able to speak. I believe you should. I think it says it. You should speak so that people can understand. Yeah. So we had did my husband and I, or Andrew and I, we did this um, prayer years ago. I'm going to say decades at this point. It's a long time. And I guess we were going through something, and we asked God to put the w right words in our mouth. Do you remember that day? Yes. Mm-hmm. And that prayer has covered us ever since. Yes. King James had the Bible translated before the je jealous and wicked people did away with him. His wife was Queen Charlotte. 1611 is the best biblical version from King James. Oh, 1611 is the best Would that version. be in the Bible at? Well, we don't know. I don't know what version of King James. She, they're trying to say it's several versions of King James. Right, but is. the Bible app has so many versions yeah. of the Bible. Let's see what King James version it has. Mm -hmm. If I can see it. I'm not sure. Because sometimes when I read my Bible... The devil tries to give me this spirit of not wanting to pay attention. I noticed that lately. So sometimes I had to go and read it twice, the verse, to actually get it. Because he, he attacks you however he wants to. I mean, you have to ask God to protect you even when you read the word because he's mad when you try to read the word. Well, that means you try... You try and get some medicine. You try and get better, get healed. The devil don't like that. No. I don't know how many, uh, what version has. Let's see. Let's see. How about? Mm-hmm. But see how the conversation went? It always goes back to the Lord. Because that's what it is, baby. Honey. These people be, be on these darn um, apps and stuff, putting up all kinds of devilish signs, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm tell y'all. Y'all watch people who be putting that 
um, okay sign up. I'm just going to say okay. They, they've been, um, trance. They've been, um, they with the devil. And there's some signs out here that be in these YouTube videos. They be putting up the okay sign. They be putting up all kinds of different things. They might even put up, like, um, they might have their pointer finger up and their pinky up and their middle fingers down. That's another sign. You got to really watch who you watch, y'all. And I had to un unsubscribe to a few people today because I watched their video and they put them signs up and I said, oh, that's it. I'm not watching it. And I and this was not the first day I've been watching these people for years and I've seen the sign and I said, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. And then the more I get into the word, I couldn't ignore it anymore. And I said, oh, I'm going to unfollow. And it was like, oh my gosh, I feel a little funny. But it just releases my timeline to put better stuff in. That's why I watch. This is how you. This is this is what's the tea today um, as well. If you see things on your timeline that you don't believe in, that you know is not right, don't even click on it. Okay, look at yourself like um, when God said to Lot's wife, "Don't look back." Right? Don't 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 be um, inquisitive or whatever like they say curiosity you know what it did to the cat because once you once you watch that type of stuff they'll put more stuff like that in your timeline right yes whatever uh -huh. stuff it is i remember i was watching because I, I watch people who mukbangers and stuff and i went in and i watched this particular person's mukbang and boy oh boy it flooded my timeline with all kinds of people who live in that lifestyle. My husband was like, oh, you got to clean up your history and all that. I said, dang, every time I go on there, it's a new person. Uh-huh. So yeah. I can't, look, look, you can't live both lives, not even with, you know, your eyes. Like, let me just peek in and see what's happening. Once you peek in, you signed on. You signed on uh, to, to see more stuff like that. And if you see enough stuff like that, you will be converted. That's how deep this thing goes when you get into God. You have to watch what you listen to. You have to watch what you watch. We say what things are going in your eyes and ears. Those are your your portals to your soul. Mm -hmm. Like if you watch me long enough crocheting, you're going to do one of two things. Either you're going to try to learn how to crochet or you're going to get some crochet items. Because you can't keep looking at something and not buy into it. I thought you could. Mm -mm. If you keep looking at somebody eating unhealthy food, you're going to be like, I want some of that food. And I and, and that's when it gets difficult for some people. Because people just want to have fun. Like Cindy Lauper said back in the 80s. Girls just want to have fun. But the honey, that, that's, that, <laughs> that song means something different to me now 30, 40 years later. Yes, it does. Because this girl does not just want to have fun. What do you mean girls just want to have fun? What is what does that what does that fun entail? Right? What what's mm -hmm. what's in that what's fun? Mm -hmm. The music we listen to. Music is the soundtrack of our life. Right? Plus there are several books to the Bible other than what they give us in the store. I heard that, the, the hidden books mm -hmm. <coughs> of yeah. the Bible. Mm -hmm. Especially online. Like, like uh, if you have a, a, a regular hard Bible, paper Bible, mm -hmm. I, I think that's better. Because I remember reading things younger. Mm -hmm. I, I think they may not have everything in the digital versions. Well, look at the darn time. I didn't make this whole hat almost. All I got to do now is decide what type of ruffles I'm going to put in there. Yeah. 
Yep. So I'm going to sew this up. I hope this inspires you to pick up a hobby. I told my husband this morning he needs a hobby. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> he did. All he does is work. Well, <coughs> babe, mm -hmm. that I swallowed some water wrong. Oh, that's what that was. Oh, okay. Okay. Then. Right. But these do get in your darn throat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. See, that's what I'm talking about. If I didn't have this activity, I would be all up in my own face looking at this, looking at that. I wouldn't have even made it this long. I credit this activity to build my stamina and to help me be on camera where it's not just all about me. That vanity. Vanity sneaks in your life. You don't even know. You think vanity is just, oh, you in the mirror, you want to look good. No, vanity is even thinking that a, a conversation is about you. Remember that song? Uh, Janice Joplin, I think her name was. And she had this song, You So Vain, I Bet You Think This Song Is About You. I had to catch myself sometimes and say, you know what? The way people all don't have nothing, nothing to do with me. They got a right to think and do what the heck they want to do, you know? Um... Sometimes vanity gets in my way and think, oh, well, if somebody does this, this means they don't like me or this, that. No, they just think differently than me. Like we all do. It's okay. You know, I used to be so antisocial and be all up into my own feelings. But social media has really helped me to realize <laughs> everyone has an opinion. And I cannot stop who I'm supposed to be and what God wants me to do because of what other people think. Mm -hmm. Like this crocheting thing on another app, I wouldn't be able to chill on that app. <laughs> okay, CT, oh, they are something over there. I got a video coming out tonight and I was just, that was me fresh off of Berberine, y'all. Biggie. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Honey, I had to stop taking berberine. Berberine is something I was taking. It's a, it's like for, um, it's a supplement that it says that it's good for like people with glucose issues and things like that. But honey, that darn berberine was bothering me for weeks and I didn't even know what it was. I had cut out so much in my diet. I was like, what is it? It was the berberine, right? So I went live yesterday on TT. <laughs> and honey, I went off. And I was like, God told me, he's like, oh, you know you ain't got that berberine. Berberine stops everything. It stops sugar from circulating and insulin. And it just does a whole bunch of stuff. It kind of dulls you out, <clears throat> dumbs you down, if you will. But honey, I don't want to be dulled out or dumb out, dumb down, okay? Um, I said, God, I might have to learn how to deal with my sugar in a very, uh, in another way other than this berberine. <clears throat> so now that I'm aware of it, I'm working on it and I have to relax and, and all that. But honey, <clears throat> y'all watch that video tonight. It comes out around seven o'clock EST, I guess. I don't know. Shoot. And um, y'all get y'all notification. Eastern Standard Time. Didn't I say EST? You did it. EST. If you if you Central Time, it would be four. Isn't that what it is? Yes. If you Pacific, 
it'll be six o'clock. See, that's the thing. Everybody not in the same time zone. <clears throat> you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's not seven o'clock for everybody. Oh my gosh, I just taught myself something about YouTube. Maybe we need to release it where it's after a certain point for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would that be eight after work? Yeah, it'll be eight. So I'll release it at eight. Okay. That'll give people more time. You know, they've had their dinner and all that. It's that heat. Oh. Choking me up. Oh, yeah. It choked me up, too. Joni Mitchell, Carol something. Joni Mitchell, never mind. Yeah. But I ain't hear that song until Janet Jackson. When she made that song. But that song was kind of before me. Janet Jackson brought that out when she had she made that song with um Q Tip. Mm hmm I used to love music, <clears throat> but now I'm more choice on what I listen to. You know? So true. But yeah, I crochet for hours a day, y'all. This is just something I love doing. But yeah, that other app, honey, they was $19.99, yep. They tried it, and I said, you know what? Y'all can have this for a little bit. I said, let me go on over to YouTube, and I'll do some stuff over there. The only reason, to be honest, why I was on the other app all the time, because they allow music. That's the only reason. I don't get no more love over there. I get more hate. I'm the type of person like, okay, why are you hating on me? These people been crocheting for decades. They say it all the time. I've been crocheting for this. So why are you worried about somebody like me who been crocheting for months? Yeah, I don't get that. It doesn't make sense. So, anywho... I like the fact that somebody had put that, that, you know, you, you want to do things that's going to help your time flourish. Like, you, you know, like sometimes I'll spend time over there and I'll do, you know, streaming for hours, but I don't feel fulfilled. I feel like I wasted my time sometimes. I, I said, like, just recently, I want to do things that benefit me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is that wrong to feel that way? When I say benefit me, make me feel like I accomplished something. It can benefit others as well. But I, this is what I like doing. I like enlightening people. I like teaching people. Yeah. And I like, you know, making people, um, not, you know, not entertain, but make you, you know, get through your day. Mm -hmm. That's just yeah. what I like to do. Yeah, jealousy. See, I was taught as a youngin' by my grandmother. She told me, she said, "Don't be jealous of nobody because you don't know what they had to do, what they had to do to get what they got." That's what she told me straight up, and I learned the tea later on why she felt that way. So let me tell you a little story. Since y'all still up in here watching, and I rested my voice the first half of this video. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> another thing that just came from God. When you're going through something, look, you're going through something for a purpose. It's not just about you. It, it this, Your story could help somebody decades from now. Just like this. This story happened back in 2010. And I'm talking about it now. So, <clears throat> my, my grandmother had passed away, right? So we, um, of course, we went to the funeral and all that. My grandfather was there, my husband. And we sat at this table, right? <clears throat> it was like at the repast. So my grandmother's girlfriends, her friends, turned to my grandfather. Mind you, everybody I'm talking about now, are don't, they gone. They gone because they were older folks. Just to let you know, just because somebody older don't make them better. 
okay? Because those demons and Jezebel spirits, they don't go nowhere. They turned, one of the friends turned to, to my grandfather and said, so who's going to cook for you now? I was like, wow. Now, at the time, I was a little tenderoni myself. I was young, girl, okay? And I was like, did I just witness this? That this friend that my grandmother called her friend. Friend, yeah. Uh -huh. Just made a pass at my grandfather? At the funeral? I looked at my grandfather. My grandfather felt, he, 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 he was like, you know, <laughs> he was like, he was a man of very little word, words, but his facial expressions were on point. Yes. I was like, oh, see, people trifling. Well, honey, she went right She went right to her maker not too, too long after that, honey. It was so funny that I found out how many friends my grandmother had after she passed away. And the one friend she had that she claimed she had before she moved up, up north was right there to see her take her last breath. That was her friend. Nobody in this city was her friend. They smile in her face and all of that. And that's why she told me that about <clears throat> don't be jealous of people because people was jealous of her. They were jealous of her because of some things she had acquired, you know, you know, just material things, y'all, that do doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying? None of that stuff matters. But for some reason, they were, they were jealous of her. And she just felt so bad. And it made her feel bad. You know, because they, she was like, basically, what the heck y'all jealous of me for? I, I, I'm I this. I go through a lot. My grandmother wasn't well. She hid it well, though. Because I didn't even know she wasn't well. You know, she was just that type of person. But she gave me that little bit of tea. She said, don't be jealous. So that kind of like... That was locked and loaded into my brain. And so that taught me not to be jealous of nobody. Because this social media thing, you could easily be jealous of people. Oh, they got thousands of people in their um video. Oh, they got um all this money they make. I mean, social media is not private. It's there for showing off. And so I always learn, look, stay in my lane. So when people are jealous of me, I'm like... They don't know no better because they don't know what I had to go through to get to where I am today. And where am I? <laughs> Go ahead talking. That's to the you question. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Go ahead talking to them. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh huh. Making this stuff. Honey, I never thought I'd be making stuff with my hands. Oh, no. But my grandparents used to always say, you know, they used to always try to keep me nice and busy, you know playing the um, clarinet and being on the choir in high school. They always supported me having uh, extracurricular activities that keep me out of trouble. And so, this is, look, that mindset should be for the rest of our lives. Have extracurricular activities for your children to keep them out of trouble. And when you get older, you need to still have some extracurricular activities, positive ones. They keep you out of trouble because this mind will run away. Will have you run away. Look at that. So, that's my hat. But it's not done. I still have to do the ruffles. But I made the hat. See, this is like equivalent to me making it by hand. Circle and circle and circle. It took me... Um, in my opinion, less time. Because them other hats was taking me days sometimes. And so now I had to just figure out, all right, what kind of ru what ruffles am I going to do? Should I do these type of ruffles? I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do um, some other type of ruffles. Um, more outlandish or whatever. Um, because I just like that. And so that's just what I do, y'all. I make hats and stuff. And y'all welcome to buy the hats if y'all want and I make them on live and stuff like that for you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but, guess what? I've been on here an hour and a half, and it feels like I've only been on here for 45 minutes. Oh, look at that. I got yarn on my head. Honey, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Miss Divine, 
bless you for standing here for a while, for, for, for watching me. Guys, make sure y'all thumbs up the video. You subscribe to the channel. Cut your notifications on. Make sure you leave me a comment and a replay. And I will surely see you guys next week.